Okay, welcome back. So this is um, part C. Is it got part D as well? No, it's part C, just on joints. So remember that your option paper covers everything. So this is covering sort of you know structure of musculoskeletal tissues. It covers then sliding filament theory, bit of practical, bit of maths, bit of practical control things, and now we're on to joints. So movement of the legs in humans involves the use of muscles attached by tendons. Now your example on the syllabus of course is the elbow and the knee is a hinge joint, it works just the same way and your fingers are the same. So they've labelled you the quadriceps and the hamstring and they work antagonistically. That means that if this one contracts this one's relaxed and vice versa. To move the knee joint and raise the leg. Now luckily you take a you know, you take a, your joints into the exam with you, so that's really good. So we've got the tendons marked on, we've got the kneecap. So, first question, explain why we've got antagonistic muscle pairs. So the idea here is that muscles can only contract or relax, so the contraction pulls the leg one way, and then the contraction of the other muscle pulls it the other way. <coughs> so, the two muscles pull the leg in different directions when they contract. Not a lot of room there is there, anyway. Scientists studied two groups of patients. One group had osteoarthritis. Yeah. And the other group was a control group without the condition. So we've got non, no osteoarthritis and the osteoarthritis. So we've got the age, they're both 65. Maximum voluntary contraction force. Ooh. And this is less and that is more. And time taken to climb a set of stairs, presumably the same set of stairs. Longer, shorter. Refer to the role of the quadriceps, so we need to say what it does in the movement of the lower leg. Explain the differences between the osteoarthritis and control groups. So, when we're referring to the role of the muscle, <coughs> we need to say what it does. So, when the quadriceps contracts and then, you know, grab your leg, contract your quadriceps what happens? You raise your leg uh, lower leg is raised apologies for all the sniffing, I've got a terrible cold um, uh, the Osteoarthritis group generate less contraction force and it takes longer to climb the stairs. I think from my own experience it's probably true. Okay. Last bit. Body mass index or BMI. It's a measure that relates body mass to height. And you know, you can't go to the doctors now without them taking your white height white blah, blah, height and weight and then telling you what your BMI is. <clears throat> so be mean BMI of the two groups. So osteoarthritis, they're 30.6. Control group, mean one is 24.1. Healthy is between 21 and 25, so that tells us that this lot are healthy. Healthy BMIs. And if it's over 30, these are all obese. So, explain the effect of high BMI on the results in the table. What table are we talking about? The one before. So it takes them longer to climb the stairs and they can't generate as much force. 
suggest why increased activity would reduce the impact and progression of osteoarthritis. How would it slow it all down? So here, we're going to need to pull it all together. So, the osteoarthritis group has a mean BMI of over 30, meaning they are obese in addition to all their other problems. Reference to the table, their contraction force is less in the quadriceps and it takes longer to climb the stairs. <coughs> so, that's the results in the table dealt with. Suggest why increased physical activity. So, increased physical activity with lower BMI and strengthen the quadriceps. So the more you use it, the more it will contract. And so how does that slow down osteoarthritis? This means less load to be carried. And the increased muscle Would strengthen and therefore support the joint. That's what my rheumatologist says if you've got osteoarthritis, you need to use it because it will make things better. If you've got rheumatoid arthritis, because it's autoimmune, it's going to make you feel fatigued and you need to rest up. It's a bit awkward if you've got both, frankly.